Hello everyone welcome back you all again and today we are going to perform our second activity based on tinker orbits and the name of the activity is led controlling using push button so to perform this activity let's move on to our step number 1 step number 1 is to arrange the components for the activity so the component one is led and it is used here to get the output and also called as output device. Second component is brain and it is used here to understand the logical concept. Third one is the push button and it is used here to turn the LED on and off and also called as input device. Power bank used here to provide the supply to the circuit and this is the 3 pin connector and it is used here to uh, connect the output and input device with the brain. Here in step number 2, we are going to do the connection. So let's start. First, we will take LED and connect with pin number D7 of the brain. So in order to do that, I will be using this 3 pin connector. And I will first of all insert the first end of that 3 pin connector in the LED and the second pin D7 like this. And after inserting, it would look like this. Second, now I will connect my push button switch with the brain and again in order to do that, I will be using this 3 pin connector. I will insert first end of this 3 pin connector here like this and the second part on D8 like this. So you can see it is inserted on D8 and LED is inserted on D7. And the last, I will be connecting this power bank with the brain so that my whole circuitry will get powered up. So let's do it. And in order to do that, I will be using this micro USB cable. And now I will insert it here. So as you can see, it got powered up. So this is all for the connection. Step number 3 is to create the code for the activity. So in order to do that, first of all, make sure your Bluetooth is active like this. And if it is not active, then you have to click on it and make it active. Second thing is your Tinker Orbit mobile application should be installed like this. So it is already installed, so I will click on it like in this way. So your first screen would look like, like there will be no code on the workspace. This is your workspace and you have to create the code Sec uh, and the second part is like there are some options from where I will drag drop my uh, particular blocks as for this activity so let's understand the logic what logic we need to make it actually the logic is like when I will click on this button then only the LED will start blowing okay until unless I will not push it or there will be no any force on this button so the LED will remain unglued okay so the same logic we have to insert in this here with the help of blocks. So let's start. First of all, we'll click on logic, we'll drag drop. So if means if some possibility of any input which is coming from the button and that possibility will going to be there for the LED, then only the LED will start blowing. So to add some possibilities, first of all, uh, what we have to do, we have to first of all go to logics again will make this in this way so we'll attach we will compare the logic means we will compare the logic of this button first then only i will send my part to the led second thing is like so this if will going to be this if statement will going to be used for on condition and in order to do the off condition so i will be using this if and else so if is used for on and else will going to be used for off okay and in the first block you have to set the push button so how we can do we'll go to input there is read button so read button means 
to read the value which is coming on the button okay so i will click in here and the value will be like on and off only okay so equals to should be there in between make sure this should not be changed in other factors so i'll go to output i'll drag drop this thing that is high if i'll make it low so it will be like off for if and for the else it will going to be high okay so right now i am making it high second thing now we have to glow the led so we need to have some kind of blocks related to led so first of all we'll click on lights drag drop this set led on so it is asking for the pin here and here also so in the starting only we have decided that my button is on pin number 8 okay and my led is on pin number 7 so like on hardware also it is same d8 and d7 okay so i have selected now and after getting a logic high on button so i need to glow my led so led should also going to be high so we'll go we'll click on light we'll drag drop it and make it here okay second thing for the else condition it should be off so for that i'll select it again copy it or duplicate we'll put it and make it off so that's my logic and let's send this code to the brain and let's see whether it is working in working or not so in order to do that first of all i will click on this bluetooth option let's pair my mobile with my brain so my brain name is tinker so we'll click tinker so you can see it got paired okay so this is the symbol of pairing okay now i will click on this play option to send my code to the brain so i have just clicked now you can see it is showing connected okay and after some time it will show upload complete means my code has been sent now when i'll click so you can see here my led is glowing so i when i'll keep pressing it so led will keep on glowing and once i will replace it so it will not glow okay like this So that's all for this coding part. I hope you enjoyed this activity. Keep tinkering, keep learning. Take care, bye, stay safe. Thank you.